Hello from Kiparisonas Garden in Greece. Uh, this video is about um, basically about smart gardening um, uh, and it has to do about growing uh, grapevines in containers and why I think uh, it's a must for your garden. Uh, I'm a big fan of container gardening. Uh, I plant almost everything in containers because I like the control I have. Um, in a certain space, you can plant so many more things than if you use the, the soil on the ground. Plus, you can control the soil in, in every pot, the pH. Um, you can weed them easier. Uh, there's many, many advantages. Maybe the only uh, disadvantage is that you have to, to water them more often and maybe fertilize them a little bit more often. Um, apart from that, I think container gardening is the best solution for many, many things. Uh, every time I say this to somebody, they say, but how can it grow? Like, uh, uh, okay, unless you want to grow a tree that's like 20 meters high, uh, container uh, is not a good solution, but who wants a 20 meter uh, tree? I mean, if I want um, uh, a grapevine, I don't want it to be in the sky. I want it to be within a uh, reasonable height. Um, why do I call this video smart gardening is because there are certain plants that people, uh, maybe they're aware of them, but they don't, they're not aware uh, of all the benefits and why they should have them in their garden. Uh, I think grapevines, of course, in Greece, it's a tradition, but um, grapevines are the, from my experience, you know, like growing so many plants, um, it's an it's a, it's a amazing plant. And I'll tell you why, because it's a plant that's very easy to grow, okay, I think. Oh, well, I'm successful in it, so it's easy for me. Uh, it gives you so many things, when this plant. Um, it gives you the fruit, you get grapes. Uh, you can use, uh, depending on the variety of, of uh, grapevine you have, uh, it, it can be a wine grape or it can be a fruit grape or both. But uh, let's say it gives you fruit, it can give you wine, it can give you grappa, which is uh, in Greece we call it tsipuro, in Crete they call it uh, tsikudia, in Turkey they call it, I don't know, raki. Um, in Czech Republic they call it uh, slivovice, but they don't make it out of grapes there, they make it out of, I don't know, pears or God knows what other fruit. Um, the grapes can give you a, a gourmet vinegar, depending, and you can make grape vinegar, and vinegar is all very important in cooking and many, many things. Uh, you can make resins out of it, dry them, dry the grapes out, and have resins, which are very, very healthy. Uh, you can use the leaves of a grapevine. In Greece, we uh, if you've been to Greece, you know very well of dolmades, which are like uh, like meatballs with rice, let's say, uh, and they're wrapped in vine leaves. Uh, they are very, very delicious. And uh, uh, what you do is you just you, you boil them and then you wrap the, the food in, in the leaves. So uh, this is an extra uh, benefit of the plant. Uh, many people don't know this, but... Um, it's, it's very common in Greece to use vine leaves. Uh, then you have grapeseed oil. Okay, owning a, a plant, uh, you can't make grapeseed oil yourself, but you should know that it's considered one of the best um, oils to fry things, uh, grapeseed oil. Uh, and you can buy it, but uh, okay, Owning a plant or several plants will not allow you to make it because you need certain procedures to do it. Um, then you have grape juice, delicious, fresh grape juice. 
Uh, you can have, if you let the plant grow, uh, you can make a great canopy, you know, pergola, and you have shade, and from the pergola you have grapes hanging down, and it's, it's a beautiful sight, and it's beautiful shade. And uh, one last thing, um, it's a great, I don't know if you are into this, but uh, it's a great plant for bonsai because it has a very interesting uh, a trunk. Okay, interesting. It's, it's pretty interesting, but the way the branches come up, there's many, many things you can do in a bonsai. So for me, I love bonsai, so it's, it's important. But um, uh, in Greece, we have a great climate for grapes. Uh, you can uh, grow them very well in a container. Uh, you can manipulate the plant very easily. You can trim it here, trim it there, let it grow as tall as you like. You can um, keep it low and turn it around and make a basket out of it like they do in Santorini. The reason for that in Santorini is um, to, to get as much moisture from the ground Okay, and to protect it from the wind. But okay, if you, if you, if this does not apply really to you. But um, it's a plant that's so versatile, it's so easy, and it's so beautiful uh, that I think everyone should uh, know about it and uh, plant it. You can plant it in your balcony, uh, veranda, patio, whatever, your garden. You can plant it in the ground, you can plant it in containers. But um, uh, when you have a garden, uh, unless you have a big farm, which not many of us have, I mean, our garden here is, is pretty big, but it's not enormous. It's about, I don't know, 3,000 something square meters, but it's big enough to plant a lot of things. But uh, in our garden, we have about um, uh, 1,100 vines. Um, and some of them are in the ground and a lot of them are in pots because we can move them around, we can put them here, it gives us versatility and it allows us in such a small space to have so many plants. Um, we grow uh, basically, okay, this, uh, you know, if you have a, a balcony, you're not going to, uh, buy and or plant vines to make wine because you need a certain amount. So what I would suggest is if you have a small garden and you want to uh, to have a grapevine, you should uh, get a variety that's great for fruit, like uh, Thompson, Thompson Seedless. Uh, this is a great uh, white grape. Um, and if you have more space and you would like to plant more, then you can make your own wine, you can make your own um, a grappa, as we say. Um, um, what else? We grow uh, Pinot Noir, Merlot for red wine, and we have uh, Muscat de Hambourg uh, for um, the Tsipuro, because it's a very aromatic and it's fantastic for making um, Tsipuro or Grappa. Uh, and we also grow some Thompson because I love to eat uh, grapes in the summer, you know, when they're nice and cold from the fridge or on a, a platter of, of ice cubes. It's a, it's a delicious uh, fruit. And also don't forget, in, in, uh, you can always put grapes in the freezer and it's like eating a, a bonbon, a <laughs> candy. You just take it, take a, a grape from the freezer, you put, stick it in your mouth and you let it thaw like slowly. It's very hedonistic. And, um, well, uh, I really think that every garden should have several grapevines and I, uh, I recommend this plant and in other videos I will give you my opinion uh, uh, about other plants that I think you should definitely grow. 
uh, and make your life easy. Uh, that's why I call it smart gardening is because, I mean, there are zillions of plants and flowers we can't have them all. So you have to be smart in picking plants that uh, not only give you a lot of value for their existence, but uh, uh, they make it easy for you, you know. It's, uh, gardening is, is, is fabulous activity, it's a hobby, it's a whatever, but it shouldn't be break your back and uh, it shouldn't be so much work that it becomes, uh, you know, undesirable after a while. So you have to pick plants that are smart and good for you and, and useful. So this in other videos, I'll try to, to, to pinpoint which ones I meet. For the moment, I strongly recommend you plant some grapevines and enjoy them. See you again. Thank you.